Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be starting episode 15 in our Catacomb series, and the topic is going to be all about expanding your in-game storage. Um, so that includes your stash, your Herogic Cube, and your player inventory. Um, so with that said, as always, if you guys are enjoying this kind of content, make sure you like and subscribe, stick around for future episodes. Um, so with that out of the way, let's roll right into the actual edits. I'm going to go ahead and close that previous game here. And uh, the first thing you'll need is the actual image for your new uh, you know, storage. So the process for this is going to be exactly the same, uh, whether we're talking about your stash, your inventory, or the cube. Um, you're just obviously going to edit different files depending on what you're doing, um, but the steps are exactly the same. Uh, so the first thing we'll do is grab out the actual image that we're editing. Uh, so for our tutorial today, we're just going to edit the stash. Um, so to do that, uh, I'm going to go to Data, HD, Global, UI, Panel, and then finally Stash. Um, and we're going to go ahead and just delete these old ones here, and we're going to grab out that fresh uh, Panel BG uh, for background uh, of the stash. And then uh, that'll let us edit the actual image, but to kind of lay everything out and change the uh, panel itself, um, we will want to go to Data, Global, UI, and then Layouts. And again, depending on what you're editing, you might need to grab a Hiraji Cube layout or the player inventory layout, uh, something like that. Um, but we're going to be editing the stash, so we'll be using these bank layout files. Um, so real quick, I'm just going to go to that folder in the mod. We're going to, these are the two files you need, but I'm going to just go ahead and remove those and just drag them out fresh. Um, so just as a quick explainer, uh, bank original layout and bank expansion layout.json, these are for the legacy graphics mode. Um, so we're going to just ignore those completely as we play in the resurrected graphics mode. Um, you know, play legacy on the legacy client, you'll have a better experience. Uh, anyways, um, so the ones we care about are going to be these HD versions, and the bank original layout file is going to be for pre-expansion characters, and the expansion layout is obviously going to be for expansion characters. Um, we will need to grab both, even if you're only trying to edit it for expansion characters, um, and that'll make sense here in a few minutes. Um, so we've grabbed all the files we need. It's going to be a pretty straightforward edit today. Um, just the JSON file to control the panel and the image itself. Um, so we'll go ahead and start with editing the image. We'll get that out of the way. Uh, so we'll open up Sprite Edit. We're going to go ahead and just go to the uh, you know open option. We're going to go to our you know vanilla um, background here. Uh, open that up, and you know this is the uh, stash everybody's familiar with. Um, so we're going to go ahead and now export that. Uh, you know, save it as whatever PNG or JPEG or something you like, and uh, call that a day. Um, then go ahead and open up your image editing software. I'm going to use Photoshop in this tutorial, but feel free to use GIMP or Paint or whatever you have. Um, it should all be roughly the same. Um, so with that said, uh, the first step is. Uh, just for safe practices, we're going to duplicate the layer, we're going to hide the original, and now we have just a backup if we screw things up. Um, so for our particular edit, uh, we're going to make it easy on us, and not all we're going to do is add two more rows to the bottom of the uh, stash. Um, so instead of a 10 by 10, we want to make it a 10 by 12, uh, and just give the players just a little more space. Um, so I'm going to make sure that, you know, new layer selected, uh, and I got my selection icon here. And we're going to just start at the very top of this grid here and then just copy all the way down. Uh, so there we go. That's good. And uh, we're going to just copy that. Um, and again, because we're adding two more rows, we need to kind of just make the image, you know, longer or taller uh, to accommodate those two more rows. Um, and each of these cells is 98 by 98 pixels. Um, so I'm going to go to the image and then we're going to do go to the canvas size option here. And, uh, you know, if we factor in 98 times two with about two pixels or so for the little border that they share, uh, we need to add about 200 pixels for our two rows. So I'm gonna turn this 1507 into a 1707. Um, and whoops, I actually skipped a step on you. Um, there we go. So I'm going to go to a 1707, and we're going to then click the top arrow. And the reason we do that is just to tell it to keep the original image up top, and I'll add all that new space at the bottom. So sorry about that. Um, and now it's all added there. So um, 
as you remember, we did copy and paste, so I'm gonna, or we did copy our previous selection, so I'm gonna go ahead and paste that now, and you'll see our new layer here from that. So let's go ahead and move that down to the very bottom, and you can see we have our basically two extra rows that we just added, um, but uh, it doesn't look quite right because we have a thicker border here, um, you know, that we, we didn't uh, take care of yet. So let's do that. We're just going to zoom in just a little bit, just to make things easier. We're going to get that same selection tool. And all we want to do is basically select this border. And uh, we're just going to select that border area. That should be good. And then we'll delete it. And now when we zoom out, you can see it looks like a proper extended cube. Um, so we now have our 10 by 12. Uh, obviously, there's black areas for the tabs. And then up here is where it uh, has like the title, you know, where it says it's your stash and stuff. Um, so we're happy with our changes. We're going to go ahead and save it. Uh, you know, I've already done that here and saved it as stash bg underscore edit. Um, so we've done that. We're going to go back to sprite edit and now we're going to import our edited image. Um, so right here. And uh, again, you can see it's the extended version. So now we're ready to save that into the mod. Um, so we're going to go into our mod folder. And we're going to go ahead and overwrite the original. Now, obviously, if you want to change the name of the file or the location of it, uh, feel free to do that now. Um, we can update that in the JSON, which we're going to do right at this moment. All right. So um, we've edited our image. So now it'll actually look like it has the two more rows, but we can't use those rows yet. Um, and things might not line up with the panel anyways. Um, because we haven't adjusted the JSON for that. Um, so now we're going to go to Bank Expansion Layout HD.JSON. We're going to go and open that up, and we're going to start explaining some of the things you'll need to watch out for in here. Um, so the number uh, w one thing I should say is the reason I recommend uh, using Visual Studio Code for all the JSON files is for a couple reasons. One, it'll try to show you error highlighting. Um, for example, here's some trailing commas um, that, while not always, um, can sometimes cause issues in JSONs when, and will actually crash the game or something um, if there's trailing commas in the wrong spot. Um, in this particular file, they're actually harmless, um, but it does just drive me nuts seeing all the error highlighting and stuff on the screen. Um, so anyways, with Visual Studio Code, um, not only does it do things like that, but it'll let you install plugins to make your life easier in the future. Um, I'm going to use one of those real quick because uh, this is killing my OCD. Um, so I'm just going to go up here to the command palette and uh, I have a plugin for trimming trailing commas. So that'll get rid of all that and clean that up. And uh, now that my OCD is happy, we can move on with the tutorial. Um, so the number one thing you should know is that uh, this expansion uh, file for the stash is based on bank original layout hd.json. Um, and the reason for that is, is that um, while some, uh, like for example, in pre-expansion, you don't have shared stash tabs and you still have the smaller uh, stash size. Um, so some things will change between the panels, so you have different JSON files for that, um, but some things don't change between the panels. Um, so for example, both panels still have that uh, left hinge thing that's on the side, um, or they both have a title that's in the same spot or a close button that's in the same spot. So you'll see that for those things, there's like no information attached to it. Um, it says it's a text box widget for the title, but then there's no text, there's no uh, definition for like where to start drawing it, anything like that. Um, the reason for that is, is because if we go to the original file, we can see all that listed here. Um, so this is where the left hinge is told what, uh, you know, sprite to use. This is where the title is told how big to make the text and all that kind of stuff. So uh, if you're editing something here and it's just not working out and you're like, what the heck? Um, it's probably because it's actually controlled here. Um, so just update it for, uh, you know, your, um, core kind of uh, file that it's based on, um, and then it should, you know, reference that and uh, update itself. Um, so with that explained, um, you might need to adjust the click catcher size. So if you make your panel bigger, um, you might find that uh, you click, uh, let's say, uh, you know, at the bottom section. So let me, let's say you click down here maybe, um, and it, it closes the panel instead of having to click off the panel um, because the original 
size uh, the end of the panel was right here. Um, so you might need to extend things like the click catcher uh, widget so that it extends all the way down to your new size. Um, and so again, you might run into that where you see it here, but you don't know how to edit it. Um, go back to the original layout and you can see that it's all defined here. Um, I do recommend uh, watching my uh, layout JSONs and stuff video. Um, but anyways, this is the uh, in uh, profile hd.json, you'll see this uh, variable referenced um, and it'll have the actual pixel size there. Um, so anyways, uh, just be mindful of that. Um, if you changed your sprite name for the stash image or you change the location, go ahead and update that here. Um, you are going to need to adjust things like your gold amount, like where it starts drawing the box for that and the actual button and stuff to click on. Um, and if you remember for us, all we did was basically we, we left the first cell exactly where it used to be, um, but we added two rows at the bottom. Um, we didn't change our framing. We didn't move the whole panel up, anything like that. Um, so all we need to do is add 200 uh, to our Y dimension um, to move that gold button and display 200 pixels down to match the new image size. Um, and obviously we did change the grid size, um, so we need to update our grid widget. Um, we made it a 10 by 12 instead of a 10 by 10. Um, and then once more, we didn't change the location of that very first cell where it started drawing the grid, um, you know, this cell here. So we don't need to adjust the rectangle starting pos position in this case, but it's very likely that depending on how big you made your uh, image, or uh, what just movements you made to like, you know, move it up or down a little bit, things like that, um, that you might need to adjust the starting position of where it starts drawing that grid. Um, and that'll make sense in game in just a few minutes. Um, and then finally, the last section we care about is the bank tab section. Um, if you're trying to add more tabs to your storage, um, obviously your player inventory or the cube, this won't apply, um, but that's why I chose the, sta uh, the stash for this tutorial. Um, everything below that is for kind of ladder and we can't, uh, you know, it's not gonna matter on single player anyways. Um, so you can just kind of ignore that for the time being. Um, so for tab count, as it might sound, if you want more tabs, go ahead and add them here. Um, real quick, I should say the limit for your maximum grid is going to be 13 by 16. So that's 13 across and 16 down, um, anything bigger than that, and uh, it's going to um, crash um, if you try to use those slots. And then for the tabs, your max count is 8. And that's going to be one personal and seven shared. Um, so we're going to say you wanted seven because it's a lucky number or something. I don't know. Um, so you wanted three extra shared tabs. Um, so real quickly here, the after you change that, we want to update the frames. And I just want to explain real quick, uh, you know, what that means. Um, if we just go to data HD and we just go into that mess of folders, uh, global UI panel and then stash, we can see that, you know, the, the stash tabs have their own sprite. Um, and uh, in that sprite, uh, there'll be different frames depending on what state uh, that tab is in. So while that tab is inactive, like you haven't clicked on it yet, um, it's going to show as like a grayed out color or whatever. Uh, and then when it's active, you know, it'll kind of light up and show that it's active. So all we need to do is just add our three extra tabs. Um, whoops. Uh, so that it knows, you know, to use that same behavior or those same uh, frames uh, for our new tabs as well. Uh, so that's all I'm doing here. Just needed to make that a bit real quick for you. Um, and then these are the strings that it'll use for the new tabs themselves. Um, so as I said before, we're kind of limited to one personal tab um, per character, but you can add more shared tabs. If you want to change the name right now, uh, at shared just points to a string and UI.json um, that literally translates to shared, um, you know, but they do that so that it can translate for all the different languages. Um, if you want to change the name uh, of the actual kind of tab, uh, then this is where you'll, or that's where you'll need to do it. You can just update the, you know, the, the string key here, um, but we're just going to leave it at a shared 
you know, called a shared tab. So we're just going to add three more entries um, so that our three new tabs have names, and we're all set there. Um, now, I am going to be a little lazy on you in this tutorial here. Um, again, we did add three more tabs, but I did not edit the tab size um, of those. Uh, so sorry, clicking on wrong windows. Um, so I did not edit the size of those tabs. So um, normally you would edit the image and then adjust these you know, update the size in here. Um, but again, I'm being lazy. So currently, because we didn't adjust the size, our new tabs are just going to run off the panel um, because, you know, it just doesn't match anymore. But uh, with that said, we've updated everything we need to. For us, uh, all we needed to do was add 200 pixels, um, you know, to update our, our kind of uh, grid size there. Um, and uh, we're going to save that. Um, so thanks for listening to me yammer along. We're going to go ahead and start the mod now and make sure everything is working as it should. All right, and there we go. So you can see that the image itself is applied and it is extended. And if we go to use our, uh, you know, new slot, uh, everything's working. Um, again, if you move things overall, like maybe you didn't like this left hinge kind of thing, and um, or you were running out of room because it was, you know, hitting your your health panel, so you had to just kind of scoop things up or left or you know whatever, then your grid very well may not line up anymore. Uh, it may start, you know, here in the middle somewhere of your image. Uh, it may start up here, or you may find that you have grid slots that just go off the panel, you know, like over here, um, that's when you go to that JSON um, and you update that, that grid section um, so that it knows where to start drawing the new kind of grid starting point. Um, again, you might run into that with gold or your bank tabs any time you change the general panel location. For us, all we did was move it 200 down. So as soon as we told it that it had two more rows, it could still start at the same spot. So we didn't have any kind of issues with that. Um, but just as a reminder, um, that's what you'll need to do if your goal doesn't match. Um, obviously, if we didn't move it 200 pixels down, it would have been up here somewhere. Um, so just a, a friendly reminder. Um, and then finally, you can see that even though we were too lazy to adjust the sizes of them, um, they are still active and you know they're working tabs. So. Um, that is, in a nutshell, the quick and dirty of how you can uh, adjust um, the in-game storage. The process is exactly the same for the cube or for your player inventory. Um, again, you're just going to edit different JSON and different image, um, but the actual like uh, JSON edits and everything are identical. So um, with that said, thanks for sticking around to the end, and have a great rest of the day. Bye.